Today I'm talking uh, about uh, uh, M-block resection of uh, bladder tumor. Actually, I did the last year describing the feasibility of this technique. Now I improve, I go a little forward, so try to look for about the uh, anatomopathological aspects. So real quick, we know that uh, uh, bladder tumor is an uh, extremely social problem. There is uh, many cases presented for year, like 74,000 uh, new diagnoses per year. Uh, we know that uh, usually uh, American Caucasian is uh, more uh, aggressed by this tumor twice comparing with African uh, American, but African American uh, have more uh, aggressive tumor. Uh, basically, men is more uh, frequent this tumor in uh, uh, compared with the female, and uh, you know superficial er and uh, um, uh, invasive tumor, it's uh, pretty much equal, 50 percent, and we know all the risk that uh, cause the bladder tumor. Epidemiology, you know that the Western country is more uh, frequent uh, this kind of disease, comparing with the Asian. And also, the treatment line is basically still the same. We know that it is more than 20 years that there is no great improvement on this, in the treatment of this uh, tumor. Considering also that this tumor is uh, one of, the, I will say, the most aggressive tumor that we have uh, in uh, urological field, but uh, uh, we treat always in the same way. But uh, the point is that uh, the base treatment that, that you do on this patient is uh, endoscopic resection. Even if you have aggress aggressive tumor, you need to stage, so you need a, a anatomic, anatomopathological uh, diagnosis. And also, if it's superficial, of course, you treat uh, periodically by uh, endoscopic resection. So, TURBT is uh, the uh, main, the most important uh, uh, tools in the treatment of this. But, by the here, the classic TURBT still give uh, you know, any advantage or give some important tools? I don't think so, because there is some uh, fragile uh, point, like uh, to resect this tumor, you need to fragment it. Uh, you do not have uh, the possibility to determine the margin of the uh, healthy mucosa around the lesion. There is also risk of tumor seeding, and uh, the uh, achievement of uh, uh, muscle layer is not uh, uh, present in a high percentage of this uh, uh, technique. So, uh, M-block turbity, what offer has in addiction to the classic turbity? Uh, we, can, we know that it uh, is feasible uh, by standard monopolar, bipolar, even uh, with the laser, all kind of laser energy. In my hand, I try to, you know, to do with the standard instrument that I have, so the only modification that I did was a little banded. Here is too much. I will say like a 90 degree. Uh, the most important is that is do not have an acute angle, because then the edge of the loop will hit the lesion. But uh, once you did this little uh, change, then you will be able to do an anti-grade uh, ablation of this tumor, and then you have an block uh, technique. Uh, I will not suggest to do uh, bigger tumor, bigger than four centimeter. I will say four will be big enough. Uh, and then the, this technique allows the smooth dissection of the lesion, and uh, you will be able to see the layer, you will be able to see vessels, so you have a quickly control of the bleeding, and uh, uh, you have a great achievement of the uh, muscular layer. In fact, you know, there is uh, many uh, studies that describe the, uh, the, these tools. This is a multicenter European study in which uh, they say that uh, is uh, feasible, safe, uh, is important to treat the tumor bigger than one centimeter, of course, because then uh, we, you will melt it. But uh, any energy will be uh, good enough. 
but the main point that you achieve the muscular layer in more than 90% of the case. So this is a very good, uh, I think it is the key of this uh, technique. Uh, recently was published uh, another interesting study by Italian group uh, from, power, uh, from uh, Genoa, Dr. Pupo, in which he collected a bigger number, like a thousand, more than a thousand lesions was resected in uh, more than uh, 900 uh, patients. Basically, they stated the same things, that this technique is feasible, is safe, and uh, moreover, you have a good quality of uh, the muscular layer. So even in this case, you uh, achieve more than 90% of the muscular layer. And for the first time, they talking about histology, by pathology, that uh, this technique is extremely valid just because uh, pathology is more happy. And I focus my attention today on this. So, what about the pathological advantage of this technique, uh, considering not only the muscular layer achievement? So this is some picture that I like to show you, comparing the uh, normal turbity and uh, and block. So the first thing is the correct orientation because the pathology know where is the base, know where is the papillary side, and they. Usually with the class 2BT, you have a shake, you resect and then put everything together. If you are extremely accurate, you separate the base just to know the deeper part. And if you are extremely good, you resect even at the margin. But with the M block, this is something that you can achieve in one time. So, easy identification of the tumor grow front from the chorion. So you know, it's very easy. That is not possible with the classic turbo T. Uh, current definition of the depth of the infiltration and the status of a submucosal chorion. So you know exactly where the tumor arrived and also how much, how long infiltrate the chorion. Deep surgical margin, you know also the distance. You can measure the distance between the deeper part from the exhibited part. So you know how far is the tumor from the uh, chorion or from the muscular layer. Also, you, you can distinguish easier the invasion of the chorion. And moreover, you can evaluate it very well, the lateral mucosal margin, that uh, I don't know if it gives some advantage to do this, but with the M block turbity, you know exactly the lateral uh, aspect of this tumor. But this is not something that uh, I invented or I try to look for, because pathology suggests us that uh, for colon cancer, where for papillary tumor, they evaluated all this aspect. They, they evaluated the, the deep margin, they evaluated the lateral margin, and then probably this can give some additional information in the staging or in the prognosis of this kind of tumor. So why not use this uh, staging for, blood, uh, for uh, colon cancer, why we do not translate for our transitional cell carcinoma. And uh, that's why I start to collect, this is a, a preliminary series, it's not a big number, it's a 31 with M block and 31 for tuberty, but uh, this is a series that uh, is a single operator, I do, I do in a random fashion, so, uh, try to be uh, as much scientific as possible and uh, try to have equal type of patient. So, and block turbidity spacement were oriented from the surface to the deeper side and the, the surgical deep of the urotelian peripheral surgical margin were linked. The correct orientation of the surgical spacement permits to assess the, or to exclude the tumor invasion of the submucosal beneath the lamina propria and permit to distinguish the resection margin. So this is the main topics. So histological examination for the M-block uh, turbity, uh, 
considering the, the lateral margin, what we uh, find was normal mucosa, inflammatory mucosa, and dysplastic bladder mucosa. Right now, we don't know if this differentiation can uh, influence the prognosis of this uh, tumor, but uh, I think right now is not something that was evaluated. So with the TURB-B and block turb uh, probably we can, in the future, can achieve some more information. In fact, this is a table that describes how we collect, uh, how we uh, catalog this uh, tumor. In fact, if you see the distance between the tumor and the surgical margin, you know, we know exactly with the block turbity what is the size, the, the uh, right distance. This is not achievable with the classic turbity. And the lateral mucosal margin, you know, is achievable with the block, but is not achievable with the uh, classic turbity. Still, we don't know if this may give additional information, but this is something that we have and probably in the future can highlight some different point. About uh, the muscular layer, of course, we basically uh, have the same, uh, uh, the same percentage of the other series. So we have uh, around 90% of the uh, presence of a muscular layer, comparing with the uh, classic tube T that is 67%. Uh, so it's extremely low and also is statistically different. So the follow-up is still in progress. I cannot say results about this, about this technique, but uh, I think that the some things will change in the future. More attention, as I stated, should be taken about the lateral mucosal margin, better visualization of the uh, displacement. In fact, uh, pathology is extremely happy and uh, are uh, more um, appropriate and more accurate in the evaluation because once you give an orientation, it can study much better. And also, I mean, the uh, muscle lay layer is present. So, uh, it's time to think and block. I will say yes, we are, uh, this technique is not still a statue. It's still a very good piece of rock. But uh, I am sure that in a short period of time, uh, this could be a very beautiful statue. I have to thank uh, uh, my resident from the last year that helped me and do this brilliant presentation. And I hope next year he can deserve to come to Jackson Hall uh, seminars. The last point that uh, I want to uh, highlight to you is, the, uh, is a very important appointment, is the ESUT meeting that we will organize in uh, Modena in May. So please, you are very welcome to join us. And uh, as you saw yesterday, we will be able to take care of you, for sure. <laughs>